On October 3, 1849, Edgar Allan Poe was found delirious and disoriented on the streets of Baltimore. The renowned poet and writer, known for his dark and macabre tales, was discovered in a state that shocked those who knew him. He was wearing someone else's clothes and was unable to explain what had happened to him. His appearance was so dishevelled and his condition so dire that it was clear something terrible had befallen him. Poe was taken to Washington College Hospital, where he died four days later at the age of 40. During his time in the hospital, he drifted in and out of consciousness, never fully recovering enough to provide any coherent account of his ordeal. The exact cause of Poe's death remains a mystery to this day, but his passing marked the tragic end to a life filled with both brilliance and sorrow. His death was reported in newspapers across the country, sparking widespread speculation and numerous theories about what might have led to his untimely demise. The circumstances surrounding Poe's final days only deepened the enigma. Friends and acquaintances were baffled by the sudden and inexplicable turn of events that led to his tragic end. He had been on his way to New York City from Richmond, Virginia, but was found in Baltimore, a detour with no clear explanation. This unexpected change in his travel plans raised many questions, as Poe had no known reason to be in Baltimore at that time. Witnesses reported seeing him in a state of distress and confusion, adding to the puzzle of his last hours. Some described him as being in a state of delirium, while others noted his incoherent speech and erratic behaviour. Some believe his death was the result of alcoholism or drug abuse, while others suspect foul play. There are even theories suggesting he was a victim of cooping, a form of electoral fraud where individuals were kidnapped, drugged and forced to vote multiple times for a particular candidate. The true cause of Edgar Allan Poe's death remains one of the most enduring mysteries in literary history. Edgar Allan Poe was born in Boston, Massachusetts, on January 19, 1809. His parents, David and Elizabeth Poe, were travelling actors. Tragically, Poe's father abandoned the family when Edgar was very young, and his mother died of tuberculosis a year later. Orphaned at the age of three, Poe was taken in by John Allen, a successful tobacco merchant in Richmond, Virginia. Although the Allens provided him with a comfortable home and a good education, their relationship was complex. John Allen was often critical of Poe's literary ambitions and withheld financial support. Despite a tumultuous upbringing, Poe's literary talent was evident from a young age. He excelled in his studies, particularly in languages and literature. He attended the University of Virginia, but was forced to leave after only one year due to gambling debts incurred by John Allen, who refused to pay. Undeterred, Poe enlisted in the United States Army under an assumed name. He published his first collection of poems, I, in 1827, but it received little attention. After leaving the army, Poe moved to Baltimore to live with his aunt. Maria Clem, and her young daughter, Virginia. In Baltimore, Poe began to achieve some literary success. He published stories in various magazines and journals, quickly gaining a reputation for his dark and macabre tales. His work explored themes of death, loss, guilt, and the darker aspects of the human psyche. His stories were unlike anything that had come before, and they captivated readers with their chilling atmosphere and psychological depth. In 1845, Poe published his most famous poem, The Raven. This haunting and atmospheric work became an instant sensation, solidifying Poe's place in literary history. The poem's themes of loss, grief, and the haunting power of memory resonated deeply with readers. 
Section 5. The Influence of Loss and Tragedy Poe's personal life was marked by tragedy and loss, which deeply influenced his writing. He was devastated by the death of his foster mother, Frances Allen, in 1829, and he married his cousin, Virginia Clem, in 1836, when she was only 13 years old. Virginia was the inspiration for many of Poe's female characters, often portrayed as beautiful, ethereal, and tragically fated. Virginia's own battle with tuberculosis, which ultimately claimed her life in 1847, cast a long shadow over Poe's life and work. Her illness and death fueled his writing, inspiring some of his most poignant and heartbreaking works. Section 6. Poe's Detective Fiction, A New Genre is Born In addition to his horror and poetry, Edgar Allan Poe is also credited with pioneering the detective fiction genre, a genre that would go on to captivate readers for generations. His stories featuring the brilliant but eccentric detective C. Auguste Dupin, such as The Murders in the Rue Morgue and The Purloined Letter, introduced readers to a new type of storytelling. These tales were not just about the crime itself, but about the process of solving it, engaging readers in a mental exercise. Poe's detective stories, with their intricate plots, emphasis on deduction and logical reasoning, and elements of suspense and surprise, laid the groundwork for the modern detective novel. His meticulous attention to detail and the methodical approach of his detective were revolutionary at the time. Dupin, with his sharp intellect and ability to unravel even the most baffling mysteries, became a prototype for later fictional detectives like Sherlock Holmes and Hercule Poirot. These characters, inspired by Dupin, would go on to become iconic figures in literature each bringing their own unique flair to the genre. Poe's detective fiction not only entertained, but also challenged readers to think critically and solve puzzles alongside his ingenious detective. His work laid the foundation for the detective genre, influencing countless authors and shaping the way we think about crime and mystery in literature. The legacy of Poe's detective fiction continues to be felt today, as modern readers and writers alike draw inspiration from his pioneering stories. Section 7. The Mystery Deepens, Poe's Final Days In 1849, Poe embarked on a trip from Richmond to New York City. He was found delirious and disoriented in Baltimore, Maryland, on October the 3rd. Poe was taken to Washington College Hospital where he died four days later. His last words were, Lord help my poor soul. The circumstances surrounding Poe's death remain a mystery. He had been wearing someone else's clothes and his behaviour in the days leading up to his death was erratic and out of character. Section 8 Theories and Speculations what really happened? Numerous theories have been proposed to explain Poe's untimely death. Some believe that his death was the result of alcoholism, a struggle he battled throughout his life. Others suspect that he may have succumbed to drug overdose, heart disease, or even rabies. Foul play has also been considered, although there is no concrete evidence to support this claim. Some speculate that Poe was a victim of cooping, a form of election fraud where individuals were forced to vote for a particular candidate multiple times. Section 9. Poe's Enduring Legacy Despite his short and troubled life, Edgar Allan Poe left an indelible mark on literature and popular culture. His dark and macabre tales continue to fascinate and terrify readers today. His exploration of the human psyche, 
and the darker aspects of our nature remain timeless and relevant. Poe's influence can be seen in literature, film, music and art. His work has inspired countless writers, filmmakers and artists across multiple generations. His legacy extends far beyond his own time, solidifying his place as a literary giant. Section 10 Conclusion A Legacy of Mystery and Imagination The life and death of Edgar Allan Poe remains shrouded in mystery. Born in 1809, Poe's journey through life was as enigmatic as the tales he penned. His early years were marked by tragedy and loss, which perhaps fueled his fascination with the darker aspects of human existence. However, what is undeniable is his profound impact on literature and the human imagination. Poe's works, ranging from chilling short stories to haunting poems, have left an indelible mark on the literary world. His unique style and themes have inspired countless writers and artists. His exploration of the macabre, the psychological, and the limits of reason continue to resonate with readers centuries later. Poe delved into the human psyche, unearthing fears and anxieties that are universally felt yet rarely spoken of. And the limits of reason continue to resonate with readers centuries later. His ability to weave suspense and horror into his narratives keeps readers on the edge of their seats, even today. The ticking of a clock, the flicker of a candle, these simple elements become symbols of dread in Poe's hands. Poe's work is a testament to the power of the written word to transport us to other realms, to places where the line between reality and imagination blurs. His stories invite us to explore the unknown, to question what we believe to be true, confront us with our deepest fears and challenge our perceptions of reality. The fear that grips a reader, the shiver that runs down the spine, these are the hallmarks of Poe's genius and remind us of the enduring allure of the unknown. The raven, the fog, the eerie landscapes, these images are forever etched in our minds, thanks to Poe's masterful storytelling. We may never know the true circumstances of his final days, but the mystery only adds to his legend. His death, much like his life, is a puzzle that continues to intrigue scholars and fans alike. But Edgar Allan Poe's legacy as a master of the macabre, a pioneer of detective fiction, and a literary innovator, ensures that his work will continue to captivate and haunt us for generations to come. His influence extends beyond literature, permeating popular culture and the arts. A pioneer of detective fiction and a literary innovator ensures that his work will continue to captivate and haunt us for generations to come. From the creation of the modern detective story, to the exploration of the human condition, Poe's contributions are immeasurable. And a literary innovator ensures that his work will continue to captivate and haunt us for generations to come. As we turn the pages of his books, we are reminded of the power of storytelling and the enduring legacy of Edgar Allan Poe.